All right, everybody, Frank here. Today we're doing a head-to-head -head challenge between the defending champion, the Caliburn, and the up-and-coming challenger, the Vaporesso Xros. Xro. This this box right here, the Xro. Going up against which one is the all-time champion right now? The Caliburn. So you basically got Brady and the Patriots going up against you know an upstart team, but Brady got traded, so there's gonna be a new sheriff in town. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna put the blindfold on. And I'm going to have my assistant off camera hand me. I got two of them. I got the Caliburn and the X-Row. Both of them with the same exact e-liquid. Same ohm pod. And we're going to see which one gives you better flavor. And she's wandering off. Okay, here we go. All right, assistant, hand me one of them. Don't tell me which one it is. Sometime today. Okay, I have one in my hand. I do not know which one this is. I have an idea which one this is because the form factor is different, but let's see, make sure I got it right. Okay, you want to hand me the other one? All right, here we go. All right. Now to see the results, we're going to have to watch the rest of this video. Let's go down. Let's take a look at this X-Row. And we'll give you some final thoughts and let you know which one has the better flavor. All right, let's go. All right, gang, here we go. This is the x rose from Vaporesso. Let's see what, well, before we do that, let's check out this, the sample packaging. This has airflow control, this flavor satisfies, long lasting 800 milliamp hour battery, and type C fast charging. This side we have just who manufactures it. Vaporesser, a little V there. Xros crossing the limits. And on the back, we can get that to focus. Of course, it won't. But well, basically what we're seeing here is it's a 112 millimeter by 23 by 13 millimeter has a two milliliter pod capacity it comes with the 1.2 ohm mesh which we're going to use the 0.8 ohm mesh 800 milliamp battery 800 milliamp hour battery capacity a maximum output of 20 watts and type c charging 5 volts at 1 amp Packing list that comes with the device, the XRS device, a uh, one 1.2 ohm coil, one 1. Point, or 0. 0.8 ohm coil, one Type C charging cable, user manual, warranty card, and reminder card. This is just a sample packaging, but it does says keep out reach children. Uh, your little barcode there, your scratch and check, and that's all you got here. Open the package. We have this car in this little packet here and here you're going to have all the typical stuff from vapor so your any counterfeit a little warranty card your user manual pretty thick user manual for a pod all different languages and yeah, oh yeah and your little showing you how to fill it Use the photos to snap off the drip tip from the cartridge. So it's going to feel very much like the caliber. So this is definitely, you know, we're definitely going head to head with the caliber. And with this, let's put all this back in the pack. Little envelope there. Here's the extra pod. This one is the 1.2. That's there. We're actually going to use this one. Here's your. Type C charging cable, real nice cable there. And here is the star of the show. Here is the Xro, Xros. 
the sample down there as your type C charging there. So it has a little plastic on it. You have you can either auto draw, you know, you can fire from you know just pulling on it, or you have a charge button. Five, there we go, five clicks, it's on. Here's the 0 0.8 ohm mesh coil. Has a little plastic one. We're not gonna use this one now because we're going head to head. I mean, here I like to have, this is your, you can see it there, your, it goes over, this is your uh, airflow adjustment. Have it as tight or as loose as you want. All right, let's take this coil out, pop it right out of there. One point two ohm, a one point two ohm mesh coil. That's pretty impressive. Now we're gonna take that apart. Yeah, it looks familiar on it right there. Looks very much like Caliburn. We're gonna fill this up with a little fifty fifty strawberry custard that I made up specifically for this. I already have it in the Caliburn wing. Just pop it in like that. Fill it up. Boom. That's it. That's all you gotta do. Let this sit for a few minutes. Put the cap back on. That cap sit right there. We go. So you got airflow slots there. Airflow slots there. Doesn't that look familiar? Just pop this. Right in there, and we're ready to vape. All right, let's go back on top. Let's vape on it, and I'll give you my final thoughts. All right, there you have it. And that is the review for the X row or X rose. One quick little thing, little size comparison. You can tell the form factor difference. The, oh, there we go. The caliber is just a touch shorter. The mouthpiece is a little bit more narrow. They both have, you know, push button draw, if you like. The caliber is a little thinner, but not by a whole lot. But the flavor, especially because right here, you see that that's airflow. And the thing, the, another huge difference with the Xro compared to the Caliburn is this is a mesh, a 1.2 ohm mesh coil, as opposed to a regular round wire coil or a Clapton or anything else. Mesh seems like especially in these tight little confined spaces you're getting more flavor out of the mesh than you do out of you know out of round wire out of clapton's you know flat wire whatever this with the, you know with these little pods and you know in the little sub ohms and everything the mesh is just it just it it just does it it, it knocks it out of the park so you know what i'm saying the winner and new champion in this little pod market, the UL X Rose. Winner, let's take another vape and let's get out of here. That's just delicious. Absolutely delicious. Remember, guys, be careful, be safe, wash your hands, don't talk to strangers. Keep an eye on your advocacy. We've got all kinds of stuff going on right now. We have a rally coming up here in the U.S. You know, let's, let's keep this going for a long time. If you're a Caliburn customer now, and you're going to have trouble getting Caliburns because the FDA has, for some reason, shut them down. This UL said, when they told UL, you can't bring them in anymore. Vaporessa is working on PMTAs. They've applied for P PMTAs. 
a lot of good stuff going on there go on their website they talk about it and if you like the caliber and you're gonna love this even more that's it guys have a good one bye now